Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Will your ex return? That is the question of the day. It is my most often asked question as a professional psychic. I am Irish Donna, known in the tarot community. And we are here to answer your question. Pisces, will your ex return? Will your ex return? My dear Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so let's see what is the moon card here. Why is the moon card here for your ex returning? The Page of Wands. Ooh, okay. So there could be the chance that your person was addicted to texting and may have texted a lot of different people. The Page of Wands, though, does say that they will initiate, they will contact you via text. That is a page of wands is all about passion, fun, flirty, sexy. You know, it's throwing caution to the winds. But it does show the moon card indicates that you may have seen a text that they sent to someone that made a, that might have caused the breakup. But it indicates that they were trying to hire, hide, excuse me, <clears throat> they were trying to hide some sort of texting from you. Why is the lover's card here? Why are you soulmates? What does this mean? Oh, whoa, okay. The soulmate card is clarified by the nine of wands. Your person wants to do the work. They want to power through. They want to be a warrior. They want to confess the truth to you. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So they do want to come clean about this with you. The three of wands is seeing you in their future. Why do they see our beautiful Pisces in their future? It's something they're thinking about the hermit card that is Virgo energy um, the person's really searching for answers they're trying to figure out how to include you in their you in their future but they don't necessarily think you're going to say yes they feel as though they might have blown it they feel as though they would like to have more with you something very grounded for the first time here we have nice coins energy the Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn Queen so they see you as very grounded. They see you as very capable, very motherly, very nurturing. Uh, somebody who knows how to earn a living, run a household, live life in a very, very successful way. Why is the Hermit card here? I keep dropping cards. <laughs> they keep just popping out of the deck. The Hermit card and the Hanged Man says that they're not quite ready to come back. The Ace of Swords is telling me that for timing, it's going to be probably seven weeks. It could be up to seven months, though, because Minor Arcana with an Ace indicates seven days, seven weeks, seven months, or the seventh month, but typically it's months. Major Arcana is usually days or weeks. Minor Arcana is usually weeks or months. So it would be any time between now and seven months from now or the seventh of a month, but this person's really, they're worried. They feel as though you're not going to take them back. Okay, why do they see you as the Queen of Pentacles? Why do they want the future with you as this queen? Ah, the truth was is that they always wanted it, but they were juggling, and that is the truth, and you know it was the truth. It does look as though they had somebody that they kept that they couldn't let go of. Somebody with, you know, they might have been married to somebody also, and that could have interfered with your relationship. It's like the ex that won't really let your lover go, somebody with whom they were married. It looks as though they went back and they tried to make it work. Wow, okay, that makes sense, right? This person did not tell you. They just broke up with you, for those with whom this resonates to go back to somebody with whom they either had a child or they were married to, or just an ex. It doesn't have to include child or marriage, but I think for most of you it would. And they did not tell you. Why didn't they tell you? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Knight of Cups. They felt it would destroy any affection that you have for them. It would make you call them a player. Um, they just feel as though they would have been called out for it, that they would have been deemed a lightweight. This person now wants to tell you the truth, but, you know, they also think it's too late because this guy is facing nobody. 
he's not facing anybody. It's like he's got, he has all this truth he wants to tell and there's nobody to tell. There's nobody here. He's turned his back on the reality that, you know, that juggling more than one person, uh, even though there was a spouse involved or a former spouse or a live-in lover, a significant other, but why is this Knight of Swords just on his way into the past to talk? A new beginning. Okay. I just see this as pretty lame when, the, when you have three cards that face into the abyss of the past. I just think that you're, you know, this person's flaky. I mean, I it just looks like this person's flaky. We like the Knight of Cups, except the Knight of Cups forgets the basic down-to-earth kinds of... Uh, duties and requirements that are expected for a good relationship. All right, what do we? Why do we have the Five of Cups here? We've got the Five of Cups here. What does that mean? The Emperor card. Well, okay. So your person really does know that they owe you an apology. They know that that just what they did was not cool. They do know they owe you an apology. This is a person. The Emperor card. That was a good card from the standpoint that that is a person who believes in the rules of society. The strength card, Leo energy, the emperor card is Aries energy, so you have a lot of Aries here. <clears throat> the strength card indicates that they're going to make a strong plea. The strength card, let's see, what are they gonna tell you that's gonna be shocking? The page of swords that they've been watching you, spying on you, they're actually gonna tell you that. <clears throat> they're going to say they've been following you. They're going to say that they were never happier than when they were with you. The sun card, and look at there's a baby under those sunflowers. They really do. They do see you as the penultimate, like, parental figure, person to have a future with. Why are they so defensive? Why will they be defensive? Ah, the lover's card. Okay. So lover's card is always about making a choice and they made the wrong choice, but look at this lover's card. I love this lover's card because this tells me that you are divinely protected by the angel. There's something about the two of you that spirit thinks has a lot of strength. You may have been teachers in an environment also where you dealt with children for some of you. Not Obviously that's only for one or two people, but this really speaks to the fact that there's something about the, a journey with children that you are supposed to take with this person. It's going to bring joy and happiness. It's going to create um, something very good in terms of society because that's what emperors do, they build. So it could be putting together you know, a great um, child care center or activity center, something educational, teaching. Okay. Why is the chariot card here? Why is this person coming rushing in? Why are they coming to rush in? To balance the scales. That is to make things right. The justice card is all about making things right with you. Why don't they think you will invest? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Moon card, because they abandoned you. They just, you know, they left, they ghosted, they disappeared into the night, you know? Here you were looking at the smoky trail and they were just gone. The Death card indicates that they think that there's a very high likelihood that you will not take them back. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups, why is the Queen of Cups here? The Knight of Pentacles. They're very, very, this person has a very strong Virgo energy. But what I'm seeing is somebody who's really pretty shy about coming back. I see this person as someone who's struggling. Let's look and see. I'm going to do some more clarifying here. But we're going to look at the Twin Flame messages. Because this person definitely wants, they're coming back. Because the Chariot card tells us that. We definitely see an apology. They can't forget the way you kiss. You were the happiest person. Uh, they, they were never happier with than they were when they were with you. The sun card is the most powerful card in the deck. It's the happiest card in the deck. So what would your person say to you if they had the courage to say to you, my dear Pisces, am I good enough for you? Well, right now, <laughs> that might not be a very good question to ask you, Pisces. You, you know, right now, I'm not seeing that you're, you know, you're going to be very, um, very open necessarily to this person. 
The thought of you still does things to me, as we can see with the kiss. Would you give me a chance to make things right between us, which is the request they're coming in with. I'm trying to do the honorable thing, okay. And that is what the emperor does. The emperor is trying to do the honorable thing. So the soulmate card is here. Let's look and see. Let's clarify further what the uh, the darkness was in the situation. What was this sort of dark energy? The Seven of Swords. This is a shadow deck. It's called the El Goliath deck, and it's a shadow deck. It speaks to the anomalies and difficulties that people have, the psychological dark side of life. So what caused them to do this? Why did they just have left you without telling you? Why did they run away the chariot card? Oof. Their emotions. They ran away with their emotions, but the problem that I see is they're coming in with the same chariot energy. So they ran to this la the past person the same way they're running to you. The two of wands with the fa past, fa blah, past person. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Okay. <clears throat> so with the two of wands, it indicated that they thought this person was their future. You can see a heart sort of here. But I feel as though a child was the primary reason because they, this is a card of having to make a decision. When they look at you, it's a card of seeing you in their future because you are their future. What else is the reason that this person failed you so miserably? Nine of Pentacles. They felt that you really liked being single and on your own. They felt that you were totally happy. So what I'm also seeing here is that this is a person who wants to be needed. You know, the tower card. They like to come in like a fireman and rescue the day and be big, big person on campus. And that person, that's, you know, that's not great energy because look at the seven of cups. They make a mess emotionally. I would say this person looks very, um, they just don't look like they're very reliable. Eight of Cups, so now we have the Eight of Cups energy. I just see them as very inconsistent. I mean, you know, when I'm looking at this, if this were my kid sister or my kid brother, I would say I'm not so sure I would let this person back in, but by the same token, there is a soulmate connection, so this could be part of the lesson that gets learned for some, and forgiveness is always available, but let's see why the Death card is here. Seven of Pentacles. Yep, I'm really getting that they do not think that you're going to invest, Pisces. I think that they feel as though sort of the jig is up. Oh, and look at this. No, they do not think that you will invest. The Four of Pentacles says that, you know, you're in a place where you like the stability that you have. The Sacred Fire. You will rebirth with them on the condition because we have soulmates here so for those of you who feel that this is the person you want to be with it does look like you don't give them a chance right away but you do let them you you allow them to come around and try to make amends and you judge them on what they can do based on their performance but you do not invest too much I'm um, getting Page of Swords. You very much keep tabs on them. You're paying very close attention to them. You know, it truly indicates that for some of you, you know, that are willing to take this person back, you ju you're just going to give them another chance because you love them so much, which is, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. Let's see what the advice is here that we have for you in terms of the wisdom of the Oracle. So for those of of uh, our Pisces friends who take their lover back even though they swore they never would because we get the death card so that would be sort of like I'm never taking him back but but clearly some of you will invest because we have the seven of Pentacles this person may be able in some cases not all but in some cases th this particular lover for our respective Pisces will come back and make amends. This is Scorpio energy. They will go through a period of paying their sort of um, their paid penance to the relationship to earn you back, to win you back. 
the truth be told always expect the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth if you ever find that they lie to you again the answer from spirit is you know do not allow them to do that if they do go ahead and use a death card to cut them off this person may have been orphaned for some of you this is a person who may have had a very trying childhood and that you know that redemption is here and that person is making a whole change a new life next to the sacred fire so what the cards are telling us is that for those of you who ha know that your person came from a very very um a tough situation they've made good in their life so that is what i get for your ex return will your ex return yes will you want them that will be up to in to each of you individually but that's what i have for you pisces thanks so much Take care. Send me your love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks. Bye-bye.